the Stanford Scholar Initiative welcomes you to a talk on learning to compose neural networks for question answering. The Avengers were enjoying a day off when suddenly all hell breaks loose, because why wouldn't it? So Iron Man asks Jarvis, is Captain America close to Stark Towers? Contact him immediately. How does Jarvis understand the verbal cue and what problems does he face? Let's have a look. The process involves five parameters shown here to model dynamic neural module networks on both visual and structured domains. Jarvis first looks at the world representation and tries to understand the structure of the question. First, Jarvis locates Stark Tower. Second, it looks for places in the vicinity of Stark Tower. Finally, it locates Captain America. Now, to answer any generic question, Jarvis needs to automatically decide its structure, regardless of text, visual, or any other kind of input. It can't train task or input-specific neural networks. This problem is hard to solve because the same question can be asked in several ways and the same entity may have different meanings in different contexts. By utilizing attention and compositionality, this paper enables computers to understand a variety of different question types and phraseologies. Given a question, two things are learned. One, how to select the appropriate model to solve that question, and two, how to answer that question with the selected model. Simply speaking, reinforcement learning is used to choose the model and back propagation is used for training. Let's look at the mechanism in detail. For finding this answer, Jarvis has to decide on a network layout for the neural network modules and their parameters. Jarvis first chooses a layout network of modules for the given question and then applies it to the world representation to find the answer. The find module convolves every position of the world representation with a weight vector to produce a heat map called attention. For example, the output of module find Captain America is a matrix whose entries are large in region of the image containing Captain America and small everywhere else. The relate module directs focus from one region of input to another. This module takes in an attention and shifts the region of greatest activation accordingly. From this module, we can know whether Captain America is above or left or right to the Avengers Tower. And module merges two attentions into a single attention. The output attention is only active in regions that are active in both inputs. The describe module takes an attention and the input image and maps both to a distribution over labels. For example, describe Avenger returns the name of Avengers in the required regions. The exist module takes an attention alone and maps it to a distribution over labels. This module can be used to find the existence of a detected object as shown in the figure. Jarvis builds a layout by first parsing the input question to obtain a dependency representation. This helps in expressing grammatical relationships between parts of a sentence. Next, Jarvis collects all nouns, verbs, and prepositional phrases that are attached directly to a woe word or copula. This gives a simple symbolic form expressing the sentence's meaning. All nouns and verbs are mapped to the find module and proper nouns are mapped to the lookup module. All prepositional phrases are mapped to the relate module, all individual modules are combined using the AND module, and a describe module is added at the root. Jarvis creates this layout for the question, is Captain America close to the Avengers Tower? For ease of understanding, they introduce these models in reverse order. The model is evaluated on large visual question answering datasets and a collection of structured geographical questions. Prior knowledge about answers is essential for a VQA task. For example, prior knowledge like sheep are white is needed while answering questions related to sheep. To test the parser's ability to predict different structures, a new version of the dataset was introduced which acknowledges quantifiers as GQA plus Q. In the GQA dataset, the world representation consists of category features used by the find module and relational features used by the relay module. The original dataset didn't include quantifiers, treating the questions like what cities are in Texas and are there any cities in Texas identically. However, in this dataset, there was a Boolean value answer for the latter. The Dynamic Neural Module Net, DNMN, outperforms all the previous approaches, including the NMN, Parameter Trying Model, and NMN Star, the re-implementation using an image processing pipeline in the VQA dataset. DNMN outperforms both LSPF, Purely Logical Model, and LSPW, Model with Learned Perceptual Predicates, on the original dataset, and a fixed structure, NMN, under both GQA and GQA plus Q. The work done by authors provides better fit for specifications, better processing, improved algorithm speed, and accuracy by utilizing the strengths of previous models and improving them. In the real world, Facebook's knowledge graph and systems like Google Now, Alexa, Siri, Cortana, and much more all rely on this technology. Thank you for watching. For more interesting talks, please visit scholar.stanford.edu.